everybody as you can see i have no makeup on and uh, yeah my hair is a bit of a mess i just woke up as you guys requested in my last two videos this video is going to be a uh, what i eat in a day video i'm also going to explain to you guys a little bit about my diet what exactly it is and also i'm going to share with you guys my diet chart so that's what this video is today instead of just giving you guys three recipes i decided i'll kind of vlog my whole day and that way i can kind of give you a detailed picture of what exactly i am up to the whole day and also this is the first time i'm filming in this angle i mean as you guys can see that's my vanity there and that's my computer that's where i edit all my <laughs> videos and also let me kind of like show it to you guys as you can see my desktop screensaver is Deepika Padukone <laughs> she is my inspiration she is my goal and I have mentioned this multiple times before in a video that she is my goal and I'm going to stop when I look like her so every time I feel a little bit demotivated or I feel like Oh my god, I can't continue anymore. I just have to look at her and be like, yes, that's the goal. Don't quit till you look like her. So there's a tip for you guys. If you're somebody who loses focus, then that's what you can do. <laughs> like pick a goal who you want to look more or less like and stick their images everywhere possible. Let's just go get some water. That's the first thing I do as soon as I wake up. I'm super thirsty right now as well. So I'm going to drink some water. For my breakfast, I'm making mushroom omelettes. So I'm going to begin by cutting four or five mushrooms into slices like this. And then I'm going to place a pan on medium heat pour in about half a spoonful of butter and once this butter is all melted I'm going to add in my mushrooms then I'm going to add in some salt to season and stir everything together I'm going to continue to stir and cook till my mushrooms have released all its water and they have shrunk in size when the water is almost evaporated i just take it off the flame and prepare for my omelette crack an egg into a bowl i'm going to season this with salt and pepper and then i'm going to add half my cooked mushrooms into this i'm going to add only half because i'm making two omelettes so i'm going to reserve the other half of my cooked mushrooms for the second egg and I'm going to whisk this until it's mixed properly and in the meantime I'm going to place another pan on the flame and while it is heating I'm also going to add in about half a tablespoon of extra virgin coconut oil once this is heated I'm going to pour in my omelette mixture and swirl the pan because I like my omelettes thin but if you guys like it thick then that's fine as well I'm also going to push some of the mushrooms all the way till the edges so they are evenly distributed and I'm going to let this cook on this side for about a minute or so. When the omelette is semi cooked I'm going to flip it with a spatula because I like my omelette cooked through. After about 30 seconds I'm going to take this off the flame and transfer it into my plate. I'm going to sit down and eat this in peace and like every single girl in the world I'm going to have this omelette while watching TV and I'm watching VH1 music that's what I love to do every single morning I listen to music and have my breakfast this honestly is so yummy I just got back from the gym. I had a pretty intense weight training today. I worked out on my shoulder. I don't know if you guys can see if my shoulder is taking shape. Came home, I've taken a shower. I was super thirsty. I again refilled my bottle and had water. And this little thing that I'm shaking is my protein supplement. And I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm a vegetarian. I mean, I eat eggs, but yeah, I'm an eggitarian. So my diet doesn't contain any kind of 
non-veg which is very high in protein that is one of the reasons why I'm taking a protein supplement but if you guys are a non-vegetarian you guys don't oppose to eating chicken or prawns or fish then that would be amazing to do right after your workout and as you guys can see I just put like one scoop of the protein powder which is equivalent to 25 grams of protein and I'm just going to chug this down because I'm craving dessert and this is chocolate flavor by the way so <laughs> yeah this totally makes my day every single day mm. so yummy <laughs> So I've got my candle on, it smells nice, I'm just about to go on my YouTube space and uh, answer to some of your comments. You guys have been really sweet, you guys have sent me some really good comments on my weight loss video which was episode number 4 in my last weight loss video, that's what I meant to say. So yeah, I had a super busy weekend, I went out with a whole bunch of friends and I did not have the time to catch up on your comments and reply to them so that's what I'm going to do now so let's just see what you guys had to say shall we? also keep drinking water throughout the day I drink up to five to seven liters of water a day because this diet makes me super thirsty and water quenches it without adding any calories for my lunch as you can see I'm heating a pan and pouring in about a tablespoon of coconut oil I'm also dropping in some sliced peppers or capsicum I'm using one yellow pepper half a red uh, capsicum and half a green capsicum or bell pepper I'm going to stir this and season it with some salt pepper and continue to stir cooking this until the peppers are kind of cooked but at the same time I like it crunchy as well and then I'm going to drop in a hundred grams of cubed paneer and this is half the share of my paneer in a day that I'm supposed to eat and I'm just going to continue to stir and cook this until the paneer is kind of golden at the end of the cooking as you guys saw I poured in a dash of uh, vinegar which is just regular white vinegar and this end bit of juice that you can see in the pan you can totally use it as a salad dressing if you have a bit of lettuce you can totally use that liquid to dress it so since I don't have any lettuce left over from yesterday I'm totally going to chuck this step there you go that looks so colorful and yummy again I'm drinking more water because I'm constantly thirsty That is honestly so yummy. The time right now is 1.30. So yeah, this is proper timings to have lunch. So I'm just going to eat away and watch like an episode of Friends or something on my computer. Because I don't like to eat quiet or serious. You know what I mean? I need somebody who makes me laugh when I eat. <laughs> it's obviously the evening I had to meet a whole bunch of friends so this is what I looked like when I went to the nearest Starbucks to hang out with my buddies this is my drink by the way I'm not cheating I'm having an espresso and no actually this is how she's lying 
Okay, okay this is my Rajna. This is yeah, my Rajna. Rajna. <laughs> this is my sister who's like totally lying all the time. So she's going to be like in hell forever. Yeah, so, <laughs> anyway, so this is her drink though. She's having, what are you having? Some it's supposed to be ribbon something. I okay, some anything. kind of a frappe. And what is the cake? Like raspberry ripple something. Looks good. And this is green tea. Um, yeah. <laughs> guys that uh, I'll explain to you guys what my diet is essentially about in this video and my diet is a ketogenic diet or a keto diet I have answered it multiple times in the comment section and also on my Instagram and in multiple other of my weight loss videos and what this diet essentially means is it's just a diet based around eating a lot of fat a moderate amount of proteins and literally zero carbohydrates at all what i'm doing essentially is cutting out all carbohydrates and by that i mean i'm not having any kind of rice i'm not having any wheat no porridge no oats no root vegetables i haven't had a pot excuse me i have the hiccups <laughs> sorry try to control it <laughs> so like i said i haven't had a potato in about five months or something that's when i first started this diet and uh, i also haven't had carrots and beetroots i haven't had any kinds of cakes desserts any kind of juice or even mint and chewing gum <laughs> i mean i can't tell you guys how much i miss having chewing gum it wasn't even my favorite i guess but still it's something that i miss now i miss chocolate all of these things that I'm not eating, I am not eating any kind of fruits as well. So yeah, essentially I have cut out all kind of carbohydrates from my diet. I eat a whole lot of paneer because that has good source of protein and fat as well. That's how I get all my fat. And secondly, I eat eggs. You guys saw me eat eggs. I eat mushrooms because they are pretty high in proteins too and the only two vegetables I eat apart from these two is like loads of spinach. I'm not a fan of spinach now. After this diet I want to give up eating spinach forever <laughs> because I eat spinach every day. <laughs> Literally like about 5-6 cups of spinach that's how much spinach I eat capsicum or bell peppers green red yellow I just love them I wasn't a fan of capsicum or bell pepper uh, before this diet I heard they were kind of sour they were neither spicy for a chili but they weren't sweet entirely it was very confusing for me now I just love it I feel like it is super 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 sweet and any day that I can incorporate a bit of capsicum in my food is like a treat for me. So these are some of the things I eat. And another thing that you can eat is loads of lettuce. I love lettuce. I mean I have run out of lettuce today. That's why none of my food is featuring lettuce but you guys can have like unlimited lettuce and another thing that I enjoy eating is broccoli oh my god I love broccoli you guys I can eat a whole load of them and they are so crunchy and sweet and so high in protein it's just one of my favorite things to eat my uh, daily food or recipes revolve mostly around these things and also because my diet is based on a high fat diet I mostly eat a lot of butter which I love I eat a lot of ghee which I love and I eat a lot of coconut oil which I have like grown to love when I first had coconut oil I was not a big fan of it that's about it that's about everything I eat and the reason why you want to do this diet especially if you are looking to lose weight fast is because when you're not eating any kind of carbohydrates it depletes your glucose level entirely and aims towards burning fat which our body really considers as uh, what can I say reserve energy so when you have 
finished your uh, main source of energy it's automatically going to shift its focus towards burning fat and that's what you want if not on a regular what can i say any diet with just a little bit of uh, reduced calorie i guess with a load of carbohydrates and fruits and juices and sugary things what you're doing is when you work out you just burn a lot of glucose and when you eat you're just going to replenish it so your fat is going to stay just as it is and even if you lose a certain amount of weight you're going to hit like a plateau or a platform after a point of which it's going to be really hard to lose weight I have been fat literally for as long as I can remember and I have tried every possible diet there is out there and I'm not saying this diet could be for you and I'm not a professional let me just clear that up <laughs> I'm not a doctor I'm not a dietitian I'm not a trainer so you might want to talk to all three of these people before you decide to start this diet like I said I tried everything and this diet also when I started this it was just like as an experiment i wasn't sure if i was going to lose weight the way they told in all the websites that i've linked before again now in the description box i'm going to link a whole load of websites of which i took information about like i said i'm not a professional i i don't know how this diet works it is something that i did a lot of research and i have understood a whole lot of things over a period of doing this diet so i'm just talking to you guys based on my personal experience when i started this diet it was just like an experiment i wasn't really sure if i was going to lose weight i didn't have high hopes or expectations i thought i would like maybe lose 3 or 4 kgs and then stop and that would be it for this diet that's all the expectations i had from it but i am just as surprised as you guys because Oh my god this diet is working it really is and i highly recommend it to anybody who wants to start this of course before starting please please consult a doctor and have yourself checked see if you are actually the body type that is healthy and that would adapt to this diet since it's working and since so many of you guys are requesting i thought i'll just talk about this to you guys now let me just go ahead and show you guys my diet chart i eat around 1200 calories every single day and like i mentioned in my keto diet my diet basically consists of 60% fat 35% protein and 5% of carb intake every single day and according to these ratios if i have to eat 1200 calories every day this is my goal this is what i'm supposed to eat i'm supposed to eat 80 grams of fat every single day i'm supposed to eat 105 grams of protein every single day and about 15 grams of carbs which i think is more or less negligible you can totally neglect this one one of the staple things that i eat is paneer and about 200 grams of paneer consists roughly around 40 grams of fat and 40 grams of protein and 9 grams of carbs if you are wondering how i got these values i google search the nutritional value of paneer actually I've Google searched the nutritional value of all of these ingredients. So that's how I have gotten these values. Also, you could incorporate amul cheese in your diet. I'm not a massive fan of it, so as you can see, I've completely chucked it. And I also eat extra virgin coconut oil. I have about 40 ml, which is roughly around three tablespoons of coconut oil, and that has about 35 grams of fat as well. eggs wise i can't eat more than 2 eggs i don't know why i feel like it's a mental block i honestly cannot enjoy more than 2 eggs a day so my 2 eggs a day give me 10 grams of fat and 14 grams of protein 2.2 grams of carb that's fine by me and i also take protein supplement i am supposed to take two scoops of protein supplement you guys saw i took one scoop that's because two scoops are way too heavy for me it doesn't leave any room for food later anyway this is the ideal thing that you are actually supposed to do but 
we all know we tend to fail but yeah that is the story of my fail so this is how i have broken it and for breakfast i never really have paneer or cheese i use about one spoon of coconut oil to make my omelets and i eat two eggs for pre-lunch i'm not one of those people who's into snacking but you can definitely break down some of the paneer or you can have another egg or something like that if you guys are into pre-lunch and for lunch you guys saw i had the stir fry i had 100 grams of paneer in it and about two capsicums worth of capsicums these two vegetables have least amount of calories they have more fiber which is what you need to digest literally so much of fat and protein you need this kind of uh, fiber in your everyday food intake and also these two things are high in protein as well and they are really literally very low in calories they amount to literally next to zero carbs without considering the spinach and capsicum i eat more or less around 11 grams and that's fine because i don't think these two together will make me exceed the 15 grams limit speaking of spinach i have about four cups of it for dinner along with another 100 grams of paneer so this is my dinner i don't have any kind of snack and my only kind of snack if i have to be really uh, precise is like i have two scoops of protein powder that is my snack these last two things let me be very precise this is why i told you guys go to the doctor and consult a dietitian before starting this diet because because like you see i am eating just a fair few amount of vegetables and ingredients i must say and uh, I don't get my daily required share of multivitamins or vitamin C. As you see, I am not eating anything that's uh, citrusy and without vitamin C, your immunity is going to fall down. I consulted my physician and he prescribed these two pills for me and that is why I would suggest you go get a physical checkup done before you start this diet and consult your doctor to see if this diet fits you and for my dinner i'm making palak paneer soup and for that i'm going to blitz four cups of fresh palak or spinach so this is what it looks like when it's all blended into a pan i'm just going to pour this and while it is cooking i'm going to season it with some salt red chili powder ground coriander about a spoonful of each and also finally a spoonful of ground garam masala i am going to let this come up to a boil and simmer for about 10 minutes until the spinach is completely cooked through now while that is happening i'm going to grate the other 100 grams of my paneer when the soup is done i'm just going to pour some into a bowl and add in my grated paneer and stir through i mean this doesn't look as appetizing as it does in real life but it honestly is so yummy the paneer makes the soup taste so creamy and i love it so that's it for this video you guys i'm just going to have the soup now and watch the rerun of grace anatomy because I love it that much. I don't think I'm going to eat anymore after this. I have completed eating all of my calories and another thing why I want to say my diet is so based around paneer is because paneer is the cheapest kind of cheese I can find here in India. It is Indian cottage cheese. This looks super yummy so I'm going to get back to this. Thank you so much for watching this video you guys. I really hope this was helpful and it gave you an idea of what diet I'm doing and what kind of food I've been eating and uh, if you're looking forward to doing this diet I really wish you all the best it has been working wonders for me and I know it will work the same way for you guys too if you like this video do not forget to hit the thumbs up button if you're new here please subscribe share this video with your friends it would mean the world to me and I'll see you in my next Thursday's video I'm totally dead tired so Good night! Bye! Mmm. So yummy. You want some? Mm -hmm. You can have it.
very basic and they are full body workout even athletes do this so start with me it's very simple go all the way down jump back jump back up jump back <laughs> that's all you have to do this repeatedly let's start